everyone, this is Suzanne. And yes, I'm in my little prayer room slash bedroom. Uh, it's not finished yet. There's a lot of stuff in here. He's coming today to do the drywall. So, oh, we're so close. Hopefully by the middle of the week, we'll have everything back in place. And I'll be glad about that for sure. I want to get back here. It's just so sunny in this room and it's bright and cheerful. And uh, yeah, it'll be nice to get back to some kind of order. All right, I got Christian in chatter. We've been going through the Bible in a year. You've all been great. You've all been very supportive of it. When I first started, I, I said, okay, Lord, you're sending me to do this. And this is big. And just be with me every step of the way. And he certainly has been. He's been with all of us. All right, at God Crochet and Chatter, we like to start out with a devotional. We do do a trivia question for the, from the Bible. And uh, that's been great fun. And today, I have a lesson. And this whole theme is, here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. All right, let's get to the trivia question. Those are always fun, aren't they? Which book of the Bible immediately follows Jeremiah? If you said Lamentations, you got it. Checking, I'm right. <laughs> I knew I was right. I didn't know why I had to look. All right, today's question. When Jesus spoke of his ascension and second coming, who asked, Lord, we do not know whether thou goest. How can we know the way? And that's in John 14, verse 5. Okay, for the rest of this week and all of next week, we will be in the book of Isaiah. And I thought, well, we're going to be finishing it up at the end of next week. So I thought what I would do is go through, and today we're going to talk about the people in Isaiah. And of course, we're going to start with Isaiah, and then we're going to do the suffering Savior, Hezekiah, Ahaz, and then Sen Sennacherib and Rashaketh, <laughs> I can't pronounce that name, Rabashaketh. The Seraphim, Isaiah's family, Eli, Kim, Sheba, and Joaz. And then finally, King Pekka and King Reza. Wow, those are hard names to pronounce. So by the end of this, we will be finished with the book of Isaiah. I thought it would be nice to look at some of the characters and how they fit in storyline. All right. Let's get to our lesson, Isaiah. And also, I want to let you know that I have decided that I will not be doing devotions on Saturday anymore. Um, Saturday and Sunday, I will take that time um, to rest, reflect, pray, kind of enjoy myself, um, and Christmas is coming. There's a lot of things I need to get made. And, um, yeah. So, you'll do okay. All right. Let's get to our lesson. Isaiah. Isaiah is humble, righteous, principled, noble. noble. <laughs> a real prophet's prophet. Now, that's something. A real prophet's prophet. His name means Yah is salvation. Yah being another name for God. His prophetic career lasts through the reigns of a whole bunch of kings. Uriah, Jotham, Ahaz, very most wicked king, and Hezekiah. He posed a Moses, basically, imitating that prophet's humility before the burning bush. Isaiah says, I have unclean lips. If we see God, we will see our sin. The hot coal represents pain's ability to purify and cleanse. There were three surprises that purged the prophet that day. One, that he had a problem. 
He recognized he had unclean lips. How many times does Jeremiah tell us God was growing him and purging him while he was preaching? Everyone is in need of revival. The evangelist is one in need of revival first. It's very important that you practice what you preach. And you need to purge things out of your life that may be hindering you or have people say, he doesn't practice what he preaches. Two, that he could be purged as we can be purged of our sin. Isn't that great that we can be purged of our sin? Three, that he could be used. In spite of his failure, after he had been cleansed, he could greatly be used by God. Now, I really like that because once I became cleansed and I gave my life to Christ, then God could start to shape me and mold me and make me into what he wanted me to be. And that is a great thing for us to know that none of us are without hope, are we? No, sir. God asked Isaiah to do crazy things like some other prophets. God forced Ezekiel to eat Ezekiel bread, and he forces Isaiah to walk around naked for three years and, and to name his son Maher Shalah Hasbas. And that means hurry to the spoils. And that is one of the longest names in the Bible. Can you imagine if your husband's name was Maher Shalah Hasbas? <laughs> oh my goodness. That would take a long time to write. Isaiah is sending coded messages to Judah. His own nudity is the defense, defenselessness, vulnerability of Judah itself. And his child's overly aggressive name sounds, sounding name predicts how badly the Assyrians were going to mess up Judah and Israel. His life is a series of symbolic gestures and acts that demonstrate God's design to people even though they don't recognize God. Wow. Isn't that fantastic? Isaiah was a prophet's prophet for sure. All right, everyone. I hope you liked that devotion today. And remember, the name of our theme is Here I Am, Send Me. Why not? He's going to send you and you and you and you and you. Yes. It's amazing, isn't it? All right. Now, for some reason, I updated my iPad to 15. I was at 14.0, and then they said, oh, you're ready for an update. So I did it. And the problem with doing updates is sometimes it screws things up. And it did. It really messed them up. And for some reason, the drop-down box does not give this description any links I put in. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't figured out how to correct that yet, but I will be working on it. And I will, for now, be putting the links in the comments for you. And um, I'm just going to have to do it that way. And I will give you this list so that you can write down and follow it. Now... Today, we read chapters 28 through 31, Wednesday, 32 to 35. Now, this is the list. I'm going to hold it up here. You can pause the video and you can copy this down. Okay, and I will mention it every day for you. So, all right, well, today is supposed to be like 73 Yesterday, it was chilly, and today it's like, okay, put back on your summer clothes. So, we're going to enjoy our walk today because it's just such a beautiful day again, and we're trying to get all these nice days and be outside because when winter comes, we got to put on our underclothing, then our clothing, do the layering up, the hats, the boots, the coats. So, yeah, it's quite a lot when we get prepared to go for a walk in the wintertime, but it's okay. It's all good. We love all of God's seasons in our lives and in the, the seasons. I mean, they're beautiful. Each one has its uniqueness, doesn't it? 
Absolutely. All right, everyone. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have a blessed day in the Lord. And Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow on God Crochet and Chatter. God bless you so, so, so much. Hallelujah.